Hey guys, what's going on? This is Pants R Dragon, and today we'll be doing a little video on top 5 best mid laners for 6.2. Now, the last time I did this tier list was in 5.23, so that was about 2 months ago. But now since the season has started and a bunch of changes has happened since then, I think it's time we do a little fresher on these videos. And so with all that being said, let's get started. Alright, so for my fifth edgy pick, it's gonna be Anivia. Anivia is really good in terms of where she can use Rod of Ages because, you know, that's a really good item right now, as the cost efficiency on it is, well, well, basically it's good because other AP items have been nerfed. As a champion herself, what does she offer? Well, she's sort of tanky being able to revive with her passive and also having Rod of Ages. She's good against short range and melee champions because of her, well, range of her spells basically, and her full combo is actually really strong. Like her E's base damage actually does 350, you know when a target is chilled. So yeah, 350 base damage means she doesn't really need items to do too much damage, and it also has a 1.0 AP ratio. And same thing goes for her ultimate, it's based on how much levels she has into it. Oh, and same thing goes for Q2 I guess, you know, 360 damage at rank 5. Mm, that's pretty strong if you ask me. The only con she has really is her Q is easily dodgeable. Her all attack animation kind of sucks and well a lot of people don't really like playing her because well you gotta be patient with her and you gotta know how to use your W. But yeah otherwise she's actually a really good champion and maybe she should be up higher in this tier list. But I think I'd prefer a really good Twisted Fate instead of Anivia as Twisted Fate has his consistent stun with his gold card and also has mobility due to his ultimate and well usually he will rush boots and some movement speed item. So he's really good at supporting other lanes and also has decent wave clear with his Q. Only thing he kinda lacks is well a decent laning phase because he has a lot of hard matchups. Especially against assassins you know like Fizz who can all in him and dodge his gold card and without his gold card he can't really get away. So yeah he's really vulnerable to kill if you have like blinks and stuff but now if you're facing a bunch of people who don't really have huge gap closers. Ah, then Twisted Fate likes to kite them and throw gold cards at them. Although his Q did get nerfed a while ago in the damage department, and so that's why he's a bit lower in this tier list, but I think you'll be surprised at seeing Zed at number 3. So once upon a time, Zed got a nerf to his W where they fixed some bug, and then his win rate just like plummeted after that. Then they buffed his W and his ultimate, and then all of a sudden those buffs were actually really good, and then suddenly his win rate was actually better than before. And also, he's a really good user of the Maw since, well, Maw is a really good item against AP champions, as it's just super efficient. And also he's got a pretty good mid game power spike, as he can kill a lot of people since people don't really have their Zonias or QSS finished. So that's when he's going around the map, you know, just killing people. But if he gets to that late game point, eh, he's a bit, uh, you know, counterable and uh, his ult's basically useless. Except for, I guess, you know, just being a blink and forcing people to buy QSS. But yeah, right now, a really good champion, especially in the right hands. And also Zed, you know, really good with mobility type items. Has a pretty good synergy with Swiftness too. As you know, it's a really good item at the moment. But uh, someone better than Zed, I feel, would be Lux. Lux right now is a champion who basically got buffed in the preseason, as she has pretty good synergy with Thunderlords. I mean, you press E and then auto attack them, and then basically Thunderlords has procced. She also has decent synergy with Frost Queen's Claim. As you know, you throw out those ghosts, then they're slow, then you can land an easy Q, and then you burst them down pretty easily. Also, one of the big busts I feel that came to Lux was in Season 5, where the secondary target that is hit by the Q will now receive the full damage and snare, and you can do some cool mind game tricks in the lane phase, or of course in team fights it might just hit two people and, you know, do a lot of damage. I mean, it's two seconds for two targets, that's actually pretty strong. But yeah, her burst damage plus her utility, mid game and late game, and just being overall really good in the late game because of her scaling, is pretty good. The only thing she does lack is, you know, you gotta hit those skill shots, and assassins can easily avoid her skill shots since they're kinda slow. If they get close to her, she is basically gonna die, unless she has flash, or appealing support. And finally, at number 1, we have Ari. Ari is the most consistent champion I've ever seen in League at the moment of, you know, Season 5 and 6, basically where they buffed her Q to give her a lot of movement speed, and how she's just like a super flexible champion. And I've said so many times before, she's an assassin, she's a mage, she's really good at picking, she's really good at poking, she's basically every mage class in League of Legends combined. Although as she is every mage type class champion in this game, she's not the best in every category. You know, Zig's really good at poking people, Lux also, but yeah, basically really good at everything, and she's also very very consistent. But yeah, that's all I really have to say about Ari. Next up, we're going to be doing some honorable mentions, and first up, we have Fizz. 
So Fizz really good at killing people when he's level 6 because he gets that incredible damage with the 20% coming from his ultimate and also has an invulnerability state with his E and insanely high burst damage. There's also a lot of kill pressure in the laning phase when he hits level 6 and damage is still going to be there because you know getting 20% increased damage is pretty good. So he'll definitely burst out targets even if he is behind unless they have magic resist. Now finally we have Lulu. Now this girl is really a cock block when she is around the area. Like you try and kill someone and she uses her shield and ultimate and uh, well, looks like going for that pick doesn't work anymore. So if you're playing someone like Zed, Rengar, Talon, well, basically you get the idea. You're not going to have a good time. The thing is, since she is a support, she'll always be consistent uh, if she does go behind in lane. So yeah, a really annoying champion to deal with. And now for a new segment for these tier lists. I'm going to be answering questions from my last mid tier list, which was two months ago. And the first question we have is, I thought assassins were back. What happened to Talon, Yasuo, and Zed? Okay, so you see Zed is in this video, but we'll talk about Talon and Yasuo. Yasuo is only good because of that Warlord's Bloodlust Mastery, but now that it is bad, he got nerfed pretty hard. And then for Talon, well, he's really good at destroying noobs, I'll agree. There are some one-trick Talon players, of course, in, you know, high elo. But he's got a pretty bad laning phase, so it's easy to punish him and prevent him from snowballing. Although if he gets that one kill in lane, he's gonna go off like kids in a sandbox. Now for the next question, this guy asks, what about Kale? Gunzo's is op as fuck on her. The thing is, I've heard about her being really good, but I haven't seen her yet. Like, I feel like she's very rare to see right now, and until I see her power, I don't really have an opinion about her right now. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it, and make sure to leave a comment below on what champion you feel is strong right now. Maybe I'll talk about it in the next tier list. And if you did like this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you didn't, Make sure to leave a dislike, but also consider subscribing. Anyways, I am Panzer Dragon, and I'll see you guys next time. Come down here. Come, come heal me. Come heal me. Well, I'm coming, Sade. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come on her. Whoa! 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 Can I talk about? Wait, you come? You come heal? Whoa! Hey, Rocka, come to me. I, I do dragons. Whoa! I live. <laughs>